evaluating the derivative of f with respect to y that gives us 2y evaluating 2y for x equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 gives us 2 right therefore the equation of the line becomes 2 times x minus 1 plus 2 times y minus 1 is equal to 0. Alright. <coughs> so let's summarize once again. We have the function fxy is equal to x squared plus y squared. We had to find the tangent line to the level curve fxy is equal to 2 at the point 1 1. Alright, now we know that if we draw, if we take the gradient of f at the point, then the gradient must be perpendicular to the level curve. That is, gradient must be perpendicular to the tangential direction of the level curve. That is, gradient must be perpendicular to the tangent line. That is, gradient must be perpendicular to any point in the tangent line, subtracted, and from that subtract the given point in the level curve because that the difference of these two vectors these two points will lie on the tangent line and once you have that you basically have the equation of the tangent line because these the the orthogonality of these two vectors means that the inner product or the dot product between them must be zero and that's where we got so we evaluate the gradient of f at the given point 1 1 we got 2 2 and we take the inner product of that gradient with sub, uh, difference of the vector difference of the arbitrary vector x y and the given vector 1 1 so we got 2 x minus 1 plus 2 y minus 1 is equal to 0 <coughs> okay moving on Similar theory works for functions of three variables. For example, let's say f is a function of three variables x, y, and z. Then in the three variable case, uh, the level curves no longer remain uh, a curve, level sets no longer remain a curve, but they generally look like surfaces. For example, like, say the level surface of the function f can be defined as all the points x, y, and z such that the function is constant, some particular constant, on those x and y. So it's some fixed constant. And we want to find the tangent plane to S at some given point x0, y0, z0. So again, function increases maximum in the direction of the gradient okay <coughs> now a function remains constant in the direction of level curves level surfaces therefore the tangential direction of the level surface must be as far apart from the gradient direction of the function because you in one direction it's constant other direction is increasing maximum therefore the direction between the tangential direction of the level surface must be as far apart from the direction of the gradient and therefore that the, the pos possible way is that the gradient must be perpendicular to the tangent plane. Okay, we will use this simple fact to get the equation of the tangent plane of level surfaces. So let's see example. So suppose my function is fxyz is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared and our job is to find the plane tangent to the level surfaces. So level surface x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 3 at 1 1 1. All right, so we easily recognize that this uh, represents a sphere. right uh, excuse me 
this represents a sphere with radius uh, square root of 3 something but the excuse me yes Well, right, let's say that's x direction, that's y direction, that's your z direction, and one 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 is somewhere around here, and we are looking at we want to get the tangent, uh, some tangent direction, uh, some a tangent plane passing through this point. Right. So the idea is very simple that that point is 1, 1 and 1. Let's say x, y and z is some arbitrary point in my plane. Then the difference of x, y, z and 1, 1, 1 must be perpendicular to the gradient of f evaluated at 1, 1, 1. All right. So gradient of f evaluated at 1, 1, 1, which is 2x, 2y, 2z evaluated at 1, 1, 1, which is 2, 2, 2. So this whole thing must be So this whole thing must be perpendicular to to the vector x minus 1, y minus 1, z minus 1. Alright? So if these two things are perpendicular to each other, therefore they must satisfy the relation that the dot product of these two vectors must be zero and that basically gives us the equation of our plane. Therefore, 2x minus 1 plus 2y minus 1 plus 2z minus 1 is equal to zero and that's your equation of the required plane. Right. And that's basically it. Thank you.